particle ink speed of dark is an immersive experience producing guests through a hole or door in vessel into the 2.5th dimension, first premiering on April 16th at the lookout in the Las Vegas Creativity District that happens to be in the same area where First Friday takes place. Presented by Kaleidico, a technology company that's built for Web3 has brought these stories to life as a light show with actors, dancers, and a bunch of lights in the warehouse to walk around in where projectors are used, making it supposedly the first live immersive mixed reality experience that blends the virtual world into the physical one. Inside, the visitors encounter an extraterrestrial sphere occupied by figures from projected lights on passage, beginning into the, the place where they find themselves inside the page of a living visual novel like worlds created with ink and paper by a grieving artist where animated characters made of pure light leap from drawings to warn events that will endlessly change the lives of the artist and his wife Lilith, telling of a rupture in the particle sign metaverse blends into the things as they are. Speed of Dark invites visitors to survey a desired stockroom that holds a portal into the 2.5th dimension, as seen here. And from the looks of it, we're witnessing these iPads looking like mirrors equipped with augmented reality software to make it look like some of the characters are popping out of the pages and whatnot. So how did I find out about this? Well, I was invited to go with someone and they told me about this show, but the person that I was with didn't have any idea what it was gonna be about either, so he just purchased the tickets and we end up driving over there to find some parking and walked a few blocks to get to the place. Although I probably should have recorded the beginning parts where there's some puppets speaking and talking about some metaphysical things and whatnot, but I have to say, I'm pretty impressed on what I'm witnessing here, but once again, I should have had recorded everything else, but I wasn't thinking at the time until I started entering the place, and with the remaining footage I have, this is what I put together. So this is the result of it. Almost everything in this warehouse is interactive in some way, shape, or form, while the actors and dancers are doing their thing to kind of bring things to light. I'ma just let this play. So in a way, I didn't regret coming at all, and you'll see a glimpse from my last minute footage I have here.
In my honest opinion, I'm not exactly too sure how to describe this concept, nor was I really prepared for what I was going to see when expecting to be nothing more than just a light show. It became an entire experience in of itself, and this could probably be the next big thing in visual entertainment once this catches on. And when doing some research on what I was looking to see if I can find anything, and to my surprise, there isn't really a whole lot of information about it other than a few sites here and there, but I'm surprised that no one else is really talking about it aside from a few social media accounts and a couple of references here and there, and barely any publicity of about it from the looks of it so I'm not sure what else to say so I'm gonna let the video speak for itself so here it is
Normally, this isn't really the kind of thing that I do on a daily basis, and much like from my first Friday video that I made a couple years ago, this was a whole nother thing I've stepped into. So whenever I do come across places like this, or events that I just find out of the ordinary, I sure will get my camera ready to capture what I find interesting enough the next time I come around. And the last part kinda ruined it for me as they were shielding NFTs as seen here so I've heard a lot of bad things about them and how most NFTs are nothing more than rug pulls. But anyways, I'm just gonna head out and see what else I'm gonna do next. This video doesn't do this whole show justice, so whenever you have a chance to see something similar to this, you're better off just going there in person and experience it for yourself. So in other words... Alright, well, till then, this is LR7, about to head out someplace, and I'm out. This is the 